Hello, everybody, and welcome to another chapter in the long legacy of the Big Ten Conference. It's a championship game in the new expanded Big Ten, and there are high stakes here, not just a conference championship, but potentially positioning themselves for one at the national championship with an automatic bid. We're going to be treated to not just a top 10 matchup, but a battle for a conference championship and an automatic bid to the college football playoff with the first round bye that goes with it. So a lot at stake here. We'll see the number four team in the country, the Washington Huskies, taking on the 10th ranked team, the Oregon Ducks. 3A Sports College Football. I'm Chris Fowler here in the booth with Kirk Herbstreet. I think we've talked long enough, Kirk. Let's get this game going. championship on the line right now fields it inside the five-yard line he's got some daylight turning on the speed picks up some blocks it's a foot race they can't catch him touchdown now the all-important extra point and it's seven nothing after the PAT They get set to kick it away. And the return starts from inside the 20. He's tackled at the 34 after a decent kick return there. The Ducks offense comes on the field first today. Well, it's not easy to narrow down the impact players to just a few guys, Kirk, but what do you expect from them today? Well, we got guys that can make plays as well as anybody in the country on both sides of the ball. That's why I think this matchup is so exciting. Two good teams with great individual players. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. That's a great play all round by this defense. Your first level defenders hold their own at the point of attack, allowing the second and third level players to roam free and make the tackle close to the line of scrimmage. The junior able to bring him down quickly. For the defensive coordinator this week, all week telling us about gap integrity, not giving this running back any creases at all. Really sound defense on that play. Oh, they've got him for a sack. A big play made by the junior. This is exactly how you can slow down the momentum and the rhythm of an offense. you got to get some tackles for a loss and some sacks. This time, they come up with a sack by getting after that quarterback. And on fourth down, the punter sends it away. He's got an opening. Watch out. He's got great speed. Good effort by the return man. They get him down, but that's a solid gain of return. So the Washington Huskies offense comes out for their first possession today. All right, Kirk, let's take a quick look at the impact players for today's game and how they're going to affect the outcome. These are your leaders on the field and in the locker room. These are your go-to guys, not only when you need a play to be made, but also when you need some... Breaks into the clear. It's a sprint. Out of bounds, but not before a huge game. Offense gets a fresh set of downs. And the Huskies looking to cash in in the red zone. And then first down, right back to the running game. And they finally stop him at the three. The offense really threatening now. So here comes second down now. Every play important down here in the red zone. Looking to pass. It's Rodgers. And it's picked off. He throws it right into double coverage and pays for it. And he'll be taken down, but after a good return. Sometimes that primetime game, the whole nation is watching, brings out some, some extra energy, some, some nerves. Maybe the quarterback is feeling that a little bit. I did not expect him to throw a pick, especially on the opening drive. Sacked, dropped at the three. This defense recognized that this offense wanted to throw the football. They pinned their ears back, got into attack mode, and came up with a nice sack. It's a toss play to the right. Stopped short of the marker after just a short game. So a tricky situation here. Third and very long inside your own 20. 
How much of a risk do you take? You know, this defense could be very aggressive at this moment. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Chris, textbook job by the defense surrounding the runner and preventing that play from being bounced to the outside. The Ducks will send the punt team onto the field. And he's able to send the punt away. Oh, he's got a crease here. Look out. They finally get him down, but that's a solid return. Good work by the return man. And the Huskies offense is back out on the field. They had some good things going on the last drive, but it ended suddenly with the pick. Let's see what they can do here. Hand off to the back. Running with purpose. Tackle made after a solid run by the junior. Boy, this guy is running hard today, right? I mean, you think about some of the backs that Washington's had. This guy's trying to say, hey, fellas, let me be added to that list of guys like Greg Lewis and Napoleon Kaufman and Chris Polk and Bishop Sankey and Miles Gaston. He's running out of time here. And that's incomplete, even on a first down pass attempt. He felt heavy pressure. Well, it's pretty simple. The defensive line does a great job of getting after the quarterback and forcing him into that incompletion. QB tries it again here on second and ten. Caught over the middle. It's Jackson. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Huskies. This guy can do it all. We've seen him go behind coverage and make plays downfield. We can see him catch the ball underneath just like this. And when he catches a football, he is so dangerous after the catch. This one leads him into the end zone for the six points. With the extra point, the lead is 14. Here's the kickoff team. Let's see if they give the returner opportunity to bring this back. Pickoff is fielded inside the 20. And the coverage team brings him down at the 26. And that powerful Oregon offense retakes the field. This group is coming off a quick three and out. Can they put something together in this drive? Physical defending. That one falls incomplete and brings up second down. And from the shotgun, an inside handoff. Christina, the spread arrow over the years has always grown offensively. But I've been always impressed with the defenses that really build their defense to play in space still have an ability to be sound at the line of scrimmage. And he can't escape. It's a sack for the defense. I can't believe the amount of pressure this defense is getting on this quarterback. Sack after sack. Boy, you've got to think about changing things up. The snap count, the scheme, anything at all to help this offensive line. They're overmatched so far in this game. And in fourth down, they'll punt it away here. Oh, and he's got some space here. And the returner brought down by that coverage team. And the Washington offense is back out on the field now. They scored a touchdown in their last possession. Let's see if this defense can make adjustments and prevent that this time. Handoff here from the shotgun. Breaks loose at the 40. Oh, and he breaks free. It's a foot race. Makes it across the goal line. Touchdown, Washington. Chris, all week I wondered if this back might get loose and come up with a big play like this. The defense had their back turned, couldn't really see where he was. By the time they realized it, he just had too much speed and he's able to take it to the end zone. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. The extra point is good, and they stretch the lead a little bit more. The kickoff team on the field now is they set to send this one away. Kickoff fielded inside the 20. Not much on the return. They'll stop him at the 24. Good coverage. And the powerful Ducks offense retakes the field. They're coming off a three and out, looking to produce a positive drive here. On the handoff, they'll test the right side here. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Okay, this defense continues to just be physical at the line of scrimmage. Offense can't do anything on the ground. And by doing that, this defense is allowing their defensive front to get pressure on the quarterback. Every time they drop back the throw, they become a one-dimensional offense. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. We're going to throw it on third and very long. Running out of time in the pocket. 
Oh, a sack. The senior on this defense making a big play. The Ducks will line up to kick it away. It's a rough drive for the offense. Hunter comes on and booted away. Running it back. It's Jackson. He's got some daylight turning on the speed. And the speedy returner, a big gain on that one. Coverage team barely able to stop it. And the Washington offense heads back out on the field. Last possession, a perfectly blocked running play. They scored in one play. Can they keep it going? And that run produces a decent gain. Chris, it's the consistency in this back is giving this defense fits. They've got to come up with some changes up front. This guy's already over 50 yards, and if he keeps running the way he is, not only is he having a great day, but it's going to give this quarterback a chance to hit some big plays downfield off play action. That's a nice game to move the sticks here as time runs out in the first quarter. The Huskies come to the line with first and goal. So, Kurt, it's Washington in front. And as we reach the end of one, the lead is starting to mount. Let's take a quick look at the first quarter stats before we move on. We'll see if this game gets out of hand before halftime. The crucial second quarter beginning right now. The defense backed up against their own end zone. First and goal, handoff. Ball carrier brought down at the four. Offense in great scoring position here. Chris, down here inside the 10-yard line, these are tough yards to come by. Positive yards, good push inside there by that offensive line. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Huskies. Man, that's another touchdown for this guy. This defense better adjust and get eyes into that backfield, or he may go for a third or a fourth later today. And the kick is up and good. They tack on a point to their lead. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. And it's caught from inside the 20. Gets it to the 29 before being brought down. And the Ducks' powerful offense is back on the field. They're coming off a quick three and out. So looking to put something together on this drive with a little more urgency. First play of the drive now coming up from the 29. Here comes a handoff. Try to run it up the middle, but get nothing. I mean, Chris, you have to admire this offense. They continue to try to sprinkle in the run game, even though it's not been able to really get established. But they're not just becoming one-dimensional. you got to respect that. And hopefully at some point it'll pay off. Back to throw. It's Gabriel. Cannot escape that ferocious pass rush. It's a sack. I mean, that's another sack, Chris. I mean, we're just getting started here. First half, and you're already talking about giving up three sacks. you got to think about changing things up schematically, help that offensive line, and help that poor quarterback before he gets killed. And he floats this pass deep down the right side. And the pass is intercepted. A takeaway for the defense. Going the other way. Can they stop him? Finally able to take him down, but that's a great return after the pick. Looks like a player is down injured at that last play. We'll take a timeout where they check it out. And the Washington offense retakes the field here. They've really built momentum in this game. They've been hard to stop. Can the defense make some adjustments? Come up with a stop here. Grab down the middle. It's Jackson. They make the tackle, but that pass creates a solid game. Pass complete in second down now. From the shotgun now, here's a handoff inside. He's got a lane. Can he make the end zone? And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Washington. And it's just a thing of beauty to watch this offense. That's this guy's third touchdown. But give the offensive line a lot of credit. They're getting enough of a push to give him some room to show you what he can do with that space. And the extra point makes this a 35-zip game. Kickoff team is on the field to boot this one away. And the return starts from inside the 20. Stop at the 22. That's pretty solid coverage there. And the Oregon offense hit back out on the field. This offense trying to bounce back the last possession, ended in a pick. Looking to throw it on first down. 
That's a fly out of the wide out. And he finds a wide open receiver. They forgot about him downfield. Solid gain there. Moves the ball out to the 32. It's a first and 10 play coming up for the offense. Now here's the toss play. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Well, they don't block the defensive end. It shows some quickness, Kirk, getting around the edge that time. Yeah, this guy's usually getting around the edge to put pressure on the quarterback, but he reminds everybody here that this guy's a complete package. Not only can he pressure the quarterback, but also he is very, very talented. It shows you the physicality he has against the run as well. They put it four times already on the verge of a fifth. They can't convert this third down. Looking downfield, it's Gabriel. Nowhere to go. The ball knocked loose. They scoop up the ball. It's still a live play. Well, the offense catches a break here. Lucky to jump on the ball after coughing it up. He's lucky that his other teammates had some good awareness. And the Ducks will line up to punt it away. On the kick now for the fifth time today. With the return, it's Jackson. He's got an opening. Watch out. He's got great speed. Can he make it? Breaking free for a huge return. They finally grab him. Why can he keep him out of the end zone? The offense will start with great field position. And the Huskies line up with a first and goal. And the quarterback dropping back. He's moving out of the pocket now. It's incomplete. He was hit as he threw a good pass rush there on first down. That's a second and goal play for the offense. And off inside, looking for the touchdown. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. And they get stopped here on second down. It's going to bring up a third and goal situation. And from this far back out, wouldn't be surprised to see them go through the air. Just don't want the quarterback to take a sack here. Make sure he gets the ball out of his hands quickly. No, he dropped it. The Whitby touchdown could not come up with the football. Now it's fourth down. So here on fourth down, out comes the field goal team. Met kick right down the middle. Can't hit it any better than that. And they add to their lead. So after adding to this big lead, they'll set to kick it away. Pickoff is fielded inside the 20. And the coverage team brings him down at the 26. And the Oregon offense comes back out on the field. They're in a hole here before they have a chance to regroup at halftime. Let's see if they can cut into this big lead. On first down, it's play action. And it's incomplete, even on a first down throw. He was under some heavy pressure. So second down after the incompletion. Dropping back, it's Gabriel. Cannot escape it, down he goes. This offensive line, flat out, not handle the pressure of this pass rush. We've seen it demonstrated time and time again to the tune of Chris, get this, seven sacks in this game so far. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. And he'll be smarter right at the line for no game. The Ducks will line up to punt it away. That back just had nowhere to go. Got to give credit to the defense and their run fits on that play. On the return, it's Jackson. And he's going to finally head out of bounds. We talk about flipping the field and setting up his offense in tremendous field position. And the Huskies' offense is back out on the field. Let's see how they play this year. Move into field goal position or take a couple shots at the end zone. Here's first and goal. A chance to really build this lead before halftime. Drops back from the shotgun, looking for an open man. Touchdown, Huskies. This passing game is on fire today. We had a short field. The offense did exactly what they're supposed to do. That would have been a big ask for the defense there, Kirk. Absolutely. But when you're given that kind of field position, anything less than a touchdown would be a disappointment. They did exactly what they needed to do by capitalizing on that short field. So the offense gets momentum scoring before halftime. Now the kickoff. We'll see if the defense can get a stop and preserve that momentum. Kickoff fielded inside the 20. Tackled at the 22. Good job by the coverage team. 
So the offense takes the field in the final seconds of the half. Chance for just a couple more plays. An inside give now from the shotgun. They'll tackle him at the 27. Time ticking away. Time for just one more play before halftime. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. And he'll be brought down, and that will wrap up the first half of play. Meadows going to wrap up the first half here. Let's kick it down to Kevin Connors with our halftime update. The Huskies will kick it away to get us going in the second half. And it's caught from inside the 20. Stop at the 22. That's pretty solid coverage there. And that powerful Oregon offense retakes the field. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Makes the catch. It's Johnson. He's found some room at the 45. Four set of bounds after a big game. This offense set up for the first down. Chris, all week they heard about how fast this guy is. The defense coordinator told them they watched the film. They've seen this guy a lot. But I think the reality of seeing it now in person, I think it surprised them. They've got to make some adjustments to their defense. Or this guy and his speed will continue to have a field day. That one falls incomplete. The defensive play brings up second down. Well, these guys just continue to struggle throwing the football. You know, whether it's been running the wrong route, the quarterback not being accurate, the offensive line not doing their job. It's been a collective effort, and it's a big reason why they're trailing now in this game. Makes a quick grab. We'll take it down, but not before he makes the first down. Boy, really nice throw here to the slot receiver, and I love the quickness that he has after the catch. He's essentially a running back playing at that slot position. That's how dangerous he is after he makes a catch. Makes the grab. It's Stewart. Tackled at the eight after the completion. Here comes a crucial second down play. Every yard tough to find down here in the red zone. It's the wide receiver coming in motion now. Looking for a gap. It's James. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Chris, I'll be really honest with you. I don't know why they continue to try to run the football. I'm all about balance. I'm all about trying to make sure a defense has to defend the run and the throw. But at this point in the game, intercepted, picked off by the defense. Inside the 40. Pass the 20. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Washington. And the defense joins the party with a pick six. But they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. PAT is good as they build on this big lead. Here's the kickoff team now, set to boot this one away. And the return starts from inside the 20. Gets it to the 25-yard line. That's where they'll start the drive. And the powerful Ducks offense retakes the field. They're trying to recover from that last possession. They had things going, but then a pick six, a devastating play. They got to recover from that right now. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. That run takes it across the 30-yard line. Great job by the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense think, are they going to run? Maybe play action, maybe throw the ball downfield. And they wrap him up, but the gain is good enough for a first down. Tackle made, but a strong arm throw by the senior quarterback. Defense kind of lost the running back here. Makes a nice catch and gets the first down in the process. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Boy, another tough call for this offense. Seems like everything that they've called is going in the wrong direction. I think they're just trying to get out of this one at this point. Hands off to the left. And they'll stop him short of the line to gain. You know, in an era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space, try to create one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the defense has countered over the years by trying to play out wide. But here's a great example of a defense. Has the ability to play wide, but still be solid at the line of scrimmage, not give up big run. Wow, a third pick tonight by the QB. Follows the pick with a nice return before finally being brought down. Boy, would this quarterback love to have this one back. They're 
trying to work themselves back into this game here in the second half. And the defense comes up with a big turnover that could be the nail in the coffin. And the Washington offense is back out on the field now. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Here's the second down play. To the air, it's Williams. Quick throw to his receiver. Here's a wide open receiver, complete. Tackle made after a big game. The offense really clicking here. On the shotgun, it's a handoff. Run down after a seven-yard gain, so it's second and three. I tell you, to be able to pick up a nice gain like that, those offensive linemen have to sustain their blocks. Gave them a chance at a really nice gain. And there's the handoff. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. But there you go, defense. Listen, it's not been a great day for these guys, but this time they stepped up and took out some of that frustration. Nice play. Fakes the handoff, looking to throw. But they don't connect. It's incomplete, and it brings up fourth down. Hey, the good news is here, Chris, they're still in field goal range, and they didn't cost themselves any points. But they could have more. You've got to be thinking about going for this on fourth and short. He missed it. There's a penalty marker down. He might get a second shot Personal at the foul. Nothing to kick the kicker. Defense. That's a costly penalty for the special teams. The offense coming back on the field. You just can't make contact with a kicker like that. Off the play fake, looking to throw. He's got it right near the end zone. Touchdown, Huskies. To stretch the lead, the route is on. So the offense flexing here, Kirk, and stretching their lead here in the second half. Now that touchdown gives you a little bit more breathing room, but now it's up to your own defense to help preserve that lead so you can go back out and build onto it in the second half. And they tack on the extra point. The kickoff team has come on the field now to send this one away. An ideal kickoff as it heads out of bounds. Free kick out of bounds. bounds. Kicking team. Kicking. Mistake by the kicker, and the offense will set up now at the 40. This line getting set up. It's a first down play. Looking for some space. It's James. after that previous play. Scanning the field, it's Gabriel. Defense is coming after him. Got him for a sack, a big play. Made them one of the senior leaders of this defense. And just like that, you squeeze the life out of this offense. That's another sack by this defense. They have been in that backfield the entire game and a big reason why these guys are enjoying the lead. And he's hit just before the throw. And he's got his man open downfield. Tackle made quickly, but a big chunk play for this offense through the air. The Ducks with first and ten here. Quarterback drops back from the shotgun, looking for a receiver. Misses the receiver, incomplete. I, I really feel that this quarterback is rattled. At this point, he's already been sacked a number of times. I think it's affecting his timing with his receivers. Offense lines up for a second down play off the incompletion. Fakes the handoff here, looking to throw it. And the senior making a disruptive impact play. They're backed up here, trying to make something happen on third and long. From the shotgun, drops back. It's caught downfield. And he'll take it into the end zone. 
Touchdown, Ducks. So they find the reliable tight end. He makes the defense pay that time. You know, the receivers a lot of times get most of the attention, but don't forget about it. It's blocked. Oh, and they picked it up. Pass midfield. Inside the 40. The 20. Crosses the 10. And he takes it all the way back for two points. What a play. After the block PAT, the special teams coach hoping for better execution here on the kickoff. Fielded in the end zone. It's Washington. He's tackled at the 17, so it would have been better to leave it in the end zone for a touchback. This should be the last play of the quarter coming up. They'll run it from the gun. Finds room at the 30. And the tackle is made in what's going to be the final play of this period. So, Kurt, it's Washington in front. This has been a beatdown, and the stats at the end of three reflect that. So here we go, first play of the quarter. The offense has a first down. From the shotgun, handoff inside. Breaks a tackle on the play and makes a decent gain. Well, I would just stick with this RPO. That's a really solid gain, and it's plays like this that eventually make that defense collapse down. Then you can pull it and hit a big play through the air to your receiver. Looking to throw, it's Williams. Hit as he releases it, and the pass ball is incomplete. From the snap of the ball, it looked like he knew exactly where he wanted to go with the football. But the guy just had him blanketed, and he still tried to get the ball squeezed in there. He's got to do a better job of working through his progressions to find that open man. Fighting for yardage, but the defense stops him just short of that first down marker. And the Huskies will have to kick it away. It's a low punt, won't travel very far. And the ball would be down just inside the 30. And the Ducks' powerful offense is back on the field. On first and ten, they'll look to throw it. Short connection to the tight end here. And he will be stuffed for no gain. But this is exactly what you want to see from the defense. Yeah, you give up the catch, but you're right there to be able to stop this receiver from making any yards after the catch. Looking for his back. Another pick. Wow, that's the fourth tonight. Well, that interception really about cost him the game here. And I understand. you got to do everything you can to get back in it, down by a couple scores. But the interception, for the most part, seals the deal for the defense. And off here from the shotgun. Finding space at the 20. They get him, but what a spin move. That's one for the highlight reel. Boy, really good run by this running back. The defense fortunate to be able to bring him down inside the 10-yard line. But it's first and goal for the offense. Off the play fake on first down. Looking to the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. And the route is on. This is just complete domination in every phase. Offense, defense, special teams. Fun to see for this team. Unfortunate on the other side. And the PAT is good as they continue to pull away even more. Pickup team is on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. Pickoff is fielded inside the 20. And the coverage team brings him down at the 26. And the Oregon offense is back out on the field. The last possession ended in an interception. Let's see if they continue to trust this quarterback in the passing game. Back to throw. It's Gabriel. Looking for his big tight end. Makes the catch downfield. That is a big play. Finally brought down at the 44. First and 10 play coming up. Here's the snap. Offense looking to throw the ball. And this is dropped. Would have been a huge gain, but he could not collect it. So after the incompletion, it's second down. And he 
drops back in the gun. The pocket breaking down. Down goes the quarterback. It's a sack. Well, that takes the wind right out of your sails. This offense is trying to find a way to get back into this game. And another pressure and a sack against their quarterback. The pass rush closing in. And that's interception number five. When will this QB get the hook? And he's wrapped up after a solid return. I just don't think there's anything else you can do as a play caller. You've got to be able to throw the ball downfield. you just got to hope that your quarterback and receivers can execute when the defense knows it's coming. Here the interception cost them. They bring him down, but an explosive play by this offense. Big game. First down here for this offense. Off the play fake, looking to throw. And he'll rifle this one deep to the right side. This one is broken up and falls incomplete. I don't know if people understand how hard it is to defend against the deep ball and man coverage like that. But this defensive back did it perfectly. Turns his head back just in time to find the ball to ensure that incompletion. Offense been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. Dropping back. We're going to throw for the first down. Ball is incomplete. Broken up by the defender nicely that time. So now on fourth down, out comes the field goal unit. It was on the mark with his last kick, but this one is from 50 yards away. And that is no good. Misfire there, but this has been a thoroughly dominating performance. Boy, this guy's usually more reliable than this. I thought that was going to be an easy field goal in three points, but instead, he misses, so you walk away with nothing. First play of the drive, they'll come out throwing. Pressure is coming. There's a fumble way behind the line of scrimmage. Defense grabs the football. It's a turnover. First down here, the offense has time for one more play before the two-minute warning. To throw, it's Williams. Brought down, but the completion moves the ball down to the four. And that's the two-minute warning. This offense looking to run out the clock and secure an impressive win here today. Touchdown, Huskies. And this one is getting ugly. Boy, they just continue to do everything right. This offense has looked outstanding from the opening series all the way up to this point, doing everything that's asked of them, great execution, and put another touchdown up on the board. And the PAT is good. Getting set to kick the ball off now. Kickoff fielded inside the 20. And they stop him at the 23. That's solid coverage. And the Oregon offense comes back out on the field. It's been a rough game for this offense. A consolation touchdown is all they're playing for at this point. And they'll start the drive here from the 23-yard line. On first and 10 here, looking to throw the ball. Bringing pressure. He cannot escape the defense with a sack. It is a sack party out there for this defense. Everything going their way. You know that this offense is going to try to throw the football down by such a big margin late in the game. And this defensive line is... Again, he's just trapped and sacked in the pocket. This defense has been lights out today. Great job once again applying pressure on this quarterback. This poor quarterback, he doesn't know what he has seen. Oh, and this is going to wind up as a safety. Well, Chris, just when it looked like it couldn't get any worse for these guys, it goes from being bad to even worse. They seemingly can't do anything right. At least they only have the rest of this quarter. Don't worry, fellas. It'll be over soon. Bringing you back, it's Washington. And the Washington offense heads back out onto the field. What a satisfying feeling for this team. Just run out the clock and let the celebration begin. Let's it go quickly. He's got it for a big game. They bring him down, but a big chunk of yardage on the play. 
Chris, I'm kind of surprised they're still taking shots downfield. They got a big lead. We're in the fourth quarter. Run the ball. Get out of dodge. Keep everybody healthy. Here comes a first down pass attempt. Receiver makes the grab. It's a quick spin move. Eventually they tackle him, but what a spin move to earn him the first down. Boy, a nice drag route here, and I thought the patience by the quarterback was the key. Puts it in front of his receiver, gives him a chance to make the catch, and picks up a little bonus. Nice yards after the catch. Second down after that run on the previous play. it here and that's a solid game before the defense is able to bring him down you know in the rpo game the quarterback's got to make really sound decisions on that read either give it when it's the right time or you pull it out and make the throw here i think he's kind of in that great touchdown washington and the beatdown continues Coaches love to see a football team that doesn't get caught up in the, the scoreboard. They're just out executing and doing what needs to be done. That's what we're seeing from this offense. Yeah, they continue to put points on the board and they're pulling away. I just love to see the execution and how they're going about their business. Now the try here for the extra point. The extra point is good, and they stretch the lead a little bit more. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. And he fields it inside the 15. And the coverage team brings him down at the 26. They'll set up at the 26 for the first play of this drive. And looking to throw now on first down. Looking for the wide out. It's complete. What a grab near the sideline. And he'll go down after a solid game more than enough for a first down. To throw, it's Gabriel. He's running out of time here. Oh, they've got him there. The defense gets to him. Never had much of a chance, and that is the final play. It's always a special year, but after all the work you put in, you can call yourselves champions of the Big Ten. And now with the playoff spot locked up, the spotlight gets even brighter. They're going to find out where they're going to be playing as they continue to pursue a national championship. And that is going to wrap it up. We enjoyed this one here. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Chris Fowler, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.